Hi and welcome to part 2 of our Quantum Break Showcase here on IGN. Early on in this piece of gameplay, we're going to solve a puzzle using the time mechanics and show how that works. Later, we're going to come to one of the choice moments and give you kind of an idea how it'll work with a television show. Because we're limited on the amount of time we can use, I do jump around a little bit in this video, so bear with us. Right now, we're using the time slowdown ability to solve a simple puzzle. Anyway, I'm going to be quiet and let you enjoy the good stuff. This is Airlift Prime. We've got the time machine core in transit. Hey! Hands where I can see! What the hell is going on around here? Awaiting orders. They got him. Over. I wonder where the brother is. <clears throat> Enemy spotted! <laughs> Shit! I didn't like the color. Let's get a new one. What? No, Jack. I need them. Ugh. Hold that thought. Oh, my briefcase was in that car. I'll take you shopping. It's a fucking briefcase. A briefcase that contains something I need in order to stop the fracture. Holy oh, shit! At this point in the game, you can see you're getting quite powerful. This is when you get to have a lot of fun with your powers and abilities. Let's get through a few cutscenes now, and after that, we'll see how the television show works. We have to get to my briefcase. Then we find Beth Wilder. Why? Who is she? She knows about the fracture. I trust her. Glad you trusted somebody. It's not that simple, Jack. I kept secrets from you to keep you safe. Safe? Look around you, Will. Does this feel safe to you? This isn't my fault. Beth warned me this would happen. I did everything in my power to stop it. But you never told me any of this. I couldn't just... How long have you known? We don't have time for this now, Jack. We have to get to that briefcase. 
Let's move, before more of them show up. Jack! Paul? Jack, we gotta go. Hold on. What are you doing? Only what's necessary. Think about this. You don't know what's at stake. I know exactly what's at stake. That's why I'm here. You believe you can stop what's coming? I'm giving you one chance to change your mind. This path, it's already said it can't be changed. The past, the future, uh, uh, I've seen it. I've lived it. For 17 years. 17 years. It was you, the first experiment. Come with me and we can see this through. Or hold on to your hope and burn with it. Now listen, I built a device. I can stop this. I can. You can't. This is madness. There's no harm in trying. There is. That's why I can't risk you opposing me, Will. It doesn't have to end like this. We can't just let this happen. I'll never stop trying. It took me years to come to terms with what must be done. But we don't have years. Wait, wait, wait. Trigger. I never wanted this. My name is Paul Serene. I founded Monarch Solutions 17 years ago with a very clear purpose. There are those who would question my actions. I'm recording this as a final statement of vindication, a testimony of how things came to be. I've always been devoted to my mission. Never deterred from my goal, no matter the sacrifice. Because I've seen where this leads. I've seen where it all ends. We have a problem. No word from Jack Joyce's transport. It should have arrived here by now. We may have a traitor on the inside. You're due for your treatment. I'll find who's behind this. Find Jack. That's our priority. Get your best man on it. There's more. As you know, Jack's level of interference led to unexpected complications. Witnesses from the university were transported here. You need to take a look. We can't afford any further obstacles at this stage of the plan. Now, I see two options. We could use force, remove any loose ends. But if those witnesses disappear... The public will start asking questions. All clear, Potentially sir. turn on Monarch. Alternatively, I could mount a broad Mr. PR Serene? strategy, get the city on our side. But that leaves us with... The, the loose ends. Precisely. The choice is yours, but keep in mind, the men will view your decision as a unified strategy moving forward. I suggest we deal with the issue at hand. Sir, who is this? 
Amy Ferrero. She's one of the witnesses. Awaiting your orders on how to proceed. My powers grew stronger, even as the Cronon Syndrome worsened. I could choose a path that would become the actual future, but it wasn't optional. The moment wouldn't end until I made up my mind. Here we come to our first Junction Impact. At these moments, we're forced to make a decision. First, we'll show what would have happened had we chose the hardline option. Any potential threats to our plan need to be erased. Wait! Monarch would take a hardline approach. Crush all obstacles, eliminate all witnesses. It would be harsh. But I had made hard choices for the greater good before. I dug through the area and I found everything I could on your bro. This is messed up, man. I trusted Monarch. But the people of Riverport would turn against us. Our secrets would be safe, but the public would hate us, and Jack would gain new allies. Monarch's got no authority to stop you, and you tell that to everybody on that bridge. We're taking the hard line. Any potential threats to our plan need to be erased. Take her and the others to the Ground Zero operation. Make it quick. Painless. No! Wait! Please! Please, please stop! Please! Help me! Now we'll choose PR, and this will be our actual choice for the playthrough. Initialize a PR campaign. I want to stay. And that violence was because of Jack Joyce. Monarch would take a PR-friendly approach and manipulate the public into siding with us. Our lies would give us control. The manhunt continues as authorities search for Jack Joyce. Hey, somebody's sneaking around down there. Hey, I think that's Jack Joyce! We'd use the media to expose then hunt for Jack. I uploaded all the files I stole on that USB stick from the Monarch security station. But the eyewitnesses would be out there, and Jack would learn our secrets. We can't risk any unwanted attention. Convince the witnesses not to talk. Keep eyes on them and send them home. Initialize a PR campaign. We need the city on our side. Not this one. She's the head of the anti-monarch movement. I think we're looking at the new face of our campaign. Jack! There's no other way out. I'm going through the machine. Oh, wait, no! Jack! This way! Jack! I use my power to guide us, to decide how to best prepare for the inevitable end of time. That gives the chosen few a chance to survive. I've seen the end of time. This is where the TV show comes into play. First you get to see what the other people chose, and then it plays your episode of the show, which is different depending on what you picked in the game. Unfortunately, we weren't allowed to show it in this demo. But we kept in what we could of the menu, so you kind of had an idea of what to expect. Now we'll move on to Act 2. Let's talk about the dry dock incident. Monarch operatives transported you from the university to the ground zero operation at the shipyard. Still upset about that, huh? You were secured, unconscious. Well... Uh... <sighs> Liam Burke went to retrieve you, and you were gone. How? Sleepwalking. Step away! 
Right now! You've three seconds till I pull. I have better reflexes. And you're a marksman. <laughs> We know Beth Wilder assisted you in some manner. Then I'm guessing you know the rest. No, because everybody who saw what you did next is now dead. I didn't have a clue where I was or why. Never questioned it because it didn't feel real. I'm still waiting to wake up. Here again we go through another time manipulation puzzle. We've kind of sped it up to get to the conclusion so that we can show you more of the gameplay. But it's still a really great example of how the time manipulation mechanic will work. Well, that's weird. Whoa. Okay. That'll come in handy. Okay. Doesn't last. Noted. Still no word from Burke on Jack Joyce's position. Very well. Ready a chopper for me at the dry dock. I'm heading to the island. Roger. We'll have the chopper. Seeing Paul's face on that screen, it was some kind of sick reminder. I couldn't escape what had happened, what he did. I needed to know why, but part of me wanted to put a fucking bullet in his head before he could open his mouth. Want us to send additional teams? Looks like Joyce. some bitch named Amy's gonna be the poster girl for Serene's PR campaign. Filming confession videos. We blew the library to create misdirection. The media's gonna latch to that. There he is! Joyce is here! Paul was at the dry docks in the distance. I recognized the place. William had a workshop in that industrial area for years. I knew that couldn't be a coincidence. just went out, but Hatch wants a follow-up confession. You got the script? Yeah, this one's more reflective. Like, wish we could undo what we done sort of deal. Dave will feed you the mind. Dave? You're using your names. You're not letting me go, are you? You're never letting me go. Wait, you know me? What's going on? I am so sorry. 
I didn't want to, but they made me do it. As we're introduced to this new character, we reach the end of part two. In part three, we're gonna see how we deal with other opponents that also can manipulate time. For more on Quantum Break, you're already in the right place. IGN.